Yuko, uh, and I'm the Youth Engagement Facilitator at Alex Neighborhood House, um, and I work to support the youth space. So Alex House is like a multi-service, uh, place-based service provider. So kind of what the organization's approach is, is that we're not here to like, you know, do things for a community or say like, this is what you guys need. Rather, it's about, you know, empowering and uplifting the people that are already here doing the good work um, to support them in uh, what they think is best needed for their community. Whether it's like food boxes or food hampers, maybe it's like, just creating space, like safe space for community members of groups and like meet their neighbors. Uh, we have community gardens, we do childcare as well. Um, but one of the projects that really came out of that approach of doing things with community and empowering people in our community was the youth space project. So that's where I work and it's a project that's by you for you and came out of a need that youth were seeing in community of having or wanting a safe, uh, sober and inclusive space to go. So a place where you know, they could come without any judgment of if they have like mental health issues going on for them that they're still trying to figure out. Maybe they've been using more substances. Maybe they're really anxious at school. Um, maybe they feel that they don't really fit in. They can come here and like none of that has to matter because this is a safe place for them um, to like explore their passions, uh, get something delicious to eat and yeah, make some new friends too. Surrey Cares generously supported our Where They're At Youth Outreach Project for the Youth Space. And what that is, is as part of like our like youth-led approach is like we really want to meet um, the youth where they're at. So if they're not here, they're out in community, like hanging out at schools, at parks, at the beach, of course. Um, and why like keep expecting them to come to us to, to have their needs met when we could go to them as well and like meet who is in community expressing those needs. The Youth Outreach Project has been great because we've been given the supplies to go out into community. We have um, outreach backpacks and we can meet youth and give them some candy. Uh, the candy bags have like resources of like just different supports and services in community. So they like raise awareness that like uh, we are like looking out for them. Like they are like cared for and supported here. As well as um, we have things like safer sex supplies, naloxone supplies, um, things for harm reduction. And it's been really great because I think we've seen like quite an increase in like engagement for um, youth outreach. The most like youth we've seen, I think in one sort of like outreach session has been 100. <laughs> um, but it's been really great because it's like ongoing engagement as well. So uh, youth are starting to recognize like, oh, it's not just these weird people <laughs> on the street, like telling us like, here, like, do, can we help you or support you with anything? Like, how are you? Um, like youth have been like coming up to us and like approaching us and telling their friends like, oh, like these people are chill. Like if we like need anything, we can we can come to them for support or we can come to the youth space. So we've been seeing an increase in engagement of youth coming and like feeling supported here too and knowing they have a safe place to go. During COVID-19, like the very beginning of the restrictions, it was pretty quick that the youth space reopened probably in June, 2020 um, and there's really been an increase in seeing the needs for families and youth. So um, maybe they live here, but like as costs of living go up, like they want to stay in their home community. Like that's where um, like they have their friends, like all their community supports. Uh, they go to school here, they have their roots here. Um, so we've been really wanting to support youth and their families to have like increased food security, to have access to housing supports if that's what they need. Um, access to like uh, different recreational activities too to keep them like, like happy and healthy. Um, I'd say that during COVID, like we actually had pretty stable numbers of youth that felt like you know they they there's nowhere else to go to to meet friends and like socialize um, when they like didn't want to just be talking over Zoom like they wanted like a real like human connection. So we were able to like safely open and like create like a safe but like physically distant space for them to come and get the support they need as well as like just you know be be youth. <laughs>